yo, so what is up, my little swag bunnies, we're going to be watching a replay between me and Achilles. Now, from the update, you would have seen, or you would have heard me mention Achilles. Um, as you can see, there is the beta kind of clan tag, if you could call it that. Because um, we did meet, and he said, you know what, let's do a 1v1. So I was like, yeah, fine, come at me, bro. So we're going to be playing on the Caldera map. I'm not sure why we decided to pick the Caldera map. But nonetheless, it's a pretty cool map. It's a bit weird because it's kind of really low down here, and then it gets very, very high up on the edges of the map with, of course, a bit of a puddle in the middle with a ring of trees. So we should have some cool little tactics going on here. And let's go into the armies. So the armies, Vendetta. Vendetta, who, who's this guy? Legendary Vendetta. What a, what a scrubby name. So he's got uh, some Yarishigara up front, some more Yarishigara there. Um, that's going to be sandwiching his first, second, and third shock troopers, who are going to be his Katana Samurai. They've got 19 melee attack, 14 morale. You get the drift. He's then got some, <laughs> some hashtag MILFs. You're going to be his warrior nuns. I'm, I love how I'm talking at myself in third person. That's just genius. So they're going to be my flanking force, along with my Blazing Heat, who are going to be my penguins for today. They've got some pretty beast melee defense stats there and some very nice morale. we then also got uh, Portuguese Tarkos. I do love these guys, although I was a bit derpy. And they are at 50... <laughs> I can't even speak today. Good England, sir. So I've got some Tarkos, but these guys are at... 50% uh, health, which is never ever good. Then I've got some Naginata attendants along with some my defense blossom, who are again going to be my Naginata warrior monks. Then we've got uh, two light cav here, and I think we've got one, two Yari cav, three Yari cav. So we've got three of those guys, um, pretty much varying stats. We've got 40 charge, and these two have got 30 morale, 10 attack. Then we look over here, I've also got my light cav, and I've also got my Naginata attendants. Now, he did have kind of the same idea, but he decided, you know what, these two shrines are a bit more important, so I'm going to put my Yari Samurai with them. That was a very good idea, to say the least. But he's also got some light cav over here, so it's nice to know that we both had the same idea. And we're both going to be fighting over the Sword Dojo now. Let's just go put it into place, see what he's bought. Looks like Achilles has got some fire cav. Look, look at that, 23 attack. Oh my god. The reason I haven't vested up my fire cav um, quite so much is because I want to try and keep them at that um, 1000 Koku uh, kind of buffer. Um, then I've got some light cav, light cav, and some is it Yari cav. Yari cav in the center there. Um, so you'll notice that we do bring a lot of light cav. Um, my tactics personally have changed quite a lot. You would have seen in the update video, I bring a lot more kind of spear now. Because um, I used to more or less stack quite a lot of swords and, and hope for the best. Um, but it looks like he's pretty much gone for the same sort of build. If we just look at this, he's got some bulletproof Sam up front. Um, some ha, gay, ha, gay, ha, gay. <laughs> he just named all his um, veterans ha, gay. What a legend. So he's got some Naganata Warrior Monks there on either side with some Nodachi Swagness, um, just in the center there. Yep. And then he's got some Yari Samurai backing them up. So yeah, we've got the Spear Sport. I think his units are just a little bit more expensive than mine, because I think I bought... Yeah, but still, it's, it's, we bought pretty similar armies. He's got the same sort of idea. We both got the little detachments there with uh, with match shocks, though his are a lot more than mine, because I was a bit derpy, and as I said, um, I decided to uh, only bring a half depleted unit. I'm not entirely sure why that was, but we shall put ourselves into normal play, and I'm kind of creeping my cab up. I don't want him to know. I want him to get a bit confident so that he charges round, and then I can kind of just charge him all outright when he least expects it. So he's going to be charging up onto this hill, which is a nice idea. I think he might have his general there. Yeah, he's got his general there. He is a melee general with a bit of a bow there. And I've got a leadership general, it looks like. Because um, I have been changing up a little bit. On the legendary tactics as well, on that note, I'm going to try and do some more legendary tactics. And I do need to update the general um, video there as well. So I'll probably delete that and then um, put on the new one. Um, so now I'm just going to bring out all my cav, at which point he's thinking, Oh dang, I'm going to get out of this area. <laughs> so he's going to be fleeing like a little wimp, and he's going to be pulling up his army. But to be honest, we're pretty evenly matched in terms of cav, um, and I'm going to put mine just up in front. It's kind of a little bit of a buffer, so that if he decides to charge, I'm going to have a downhill charge at this. Um, and also my army's going to be there for some spear support. So really he's got no other option but two pullbacks, so it's a nice idea. Um, my Turk is going to be engaging his match docks. Um, but the thing is, as I said, these guys were depleted and I didn't actually realise it would have been much better of me if I went for more of a his tactic and um, bring some matchlocks instead, you know, just some matchlock Ashigaru because they're far, far better. And over here, my micro went completely out the window as I was more focused on that side of the battle and he did manage to get a nice free charge off of me there. There you go, I lost about a good 15 men, he lost 5. So that was really not a good exchange for me. Um, at this point, I did capture the workshop. 
So I don't, know, I don't know, that might have helped a little bit, but as you can see, I did get pretty pretty darn annihilated there. I'm going to be charging in my Naginata attendance as well to hopefully help out those like have. But on this side, it's pretty clear who's going to be winning because these uh, Yari Samurai are now forming on my flank. Now, over on this side, um, he was a bit open, so I thought, you know, I'm, I think sacrificing one like have to take out... Whoa! You went flying. Just to take out this um, Yari Shigara, put out commission, was a nice idea. Um, I killed about a good 30 men there. I'm going to be charging in as well. I'm not sure why I quite did this. I'm going to pull him one in. He splits his cav up very wisely, at which point I think, oh, shit, I better break up mine as well. So I'm going to be taking one guy out the back, one guy to charge downhill, this guy. And hopefully one of these units will be charging down at his fire cav. Now as fire cab, this is crucial, I have to get off a good charge here because otherwise um, you know, that sustained combat is going to rape me. And I did manage to pull off a good charge, um, but I think we pretty much, yeah it's pretty even the charge. But he's managing to break already, he's behind enemy lines so he probably feels that he's getting flanked a little bit. But he's a bit concerned, he's sustaining some casualties and um, my general is now in the vicinity ready to aid. Um, with that and now the army is going to be clashing slightly I'm going to be charging forward my Yarish Shigari because I don't want to be charging at any of my units I don't want to be committing my good troops um, if he hasn't committed his so I'm going to be doing a little bit of a skirmish with some crap troops there and I'm over on this side Managanati attendants sent off these light cav packing and now they're fighting downhill but these Yari Samurai because they've just got so many they should be winning uh, yeah, pretty substantially. Also, my melee attack has been nerfed for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, back on this side, though, all is going very, very well. It all, it's all really going to depend how I'm going to use my cavalry. And I didn't use it very wisely because I've charged it straight into Ian, who coincidentally is his general's name. But he's already done his buff, so he's got 29 attack, 18 defense. You know, I don't really want to be engaging because I've got some good cav units here. I could just send in some nice spear units to try and clear out his general, even though he has got that no penalty against spears. As long as I've got his general pinned down with some infantry, that would have been a nice idea. So that way I could have done some hammer and anvils with my Yari Cav. In the center, however, we are beginning to get off and under away with the uh, the melee exchange. It's looking pretty brutal. Lots of lice, lots of lovely blood flowing everywhere, should I say. And now I'm going to be charging down my Yarish guy to try and take out this Machigashigari, but he does manage to cock block me with this Naginata attendant unit. And now, we, as you can see, we've now got very literally a grind-up match. I think I'm going to be doing my war cries, which I have, probably a little bit premature. Um, and now my general is completely free for the taking, so if Achilles, or Ian, should I say, feels like it, should be good. I'm making these Yari Samurai kind of uh, kind of break a little bit there. I've done my war cry. Um, these monks should be cleaning them out. We've got 22 defense. And then here is the game-changing position. So I'd say at this point I'm definitely winning. His, his middle is definitely breaking. His far flank is broken. Um, this side was breaking as well, but this is definitely where it did just kind of go downhill for me personally. I had to pull off my Naginata Mori monks because um, his general charged my general. So these guys were near breaking. Um, which meant, of course, that uh, they were just so nearly broken and I would have been able to flank round, but, of course, um, I had to pull those units back off to go protect my general, at which point these guys broke free, the morale shot up, and then they gained some ground, and all of a sudden I think my guys feel as though their flanks are now exposed, as it said. These guys are now broken on either side, um, and these guys are still going pretty strongly, but these Naganata Warrior Monks are going to be giving them a good run for their money, I think. Yeah, they're both war cried. They won't be doing too great. He's going to be doing another charge of his general um, straight into the back of some of my Katana units who are going to now be vulnerable. And really, the game's just changed around so, so quickly. Um, so very well played to Achilles A. Managed to charge back round into my general. Um, put a bit, took a bit of pressure off of his line, um, which, you know, managed to make his units come back. He's now going to be firing into his own men, routing one of them, but it doesn't matter because at this point, um, you know, it's pretty much three to one here. Um, and to be honest, it looks like it's evening up a little bit more, but one of my units do begin to rout. Um, one of them is feeling a little bit wavery, and now his general is now going to be closing up for yet another charge on my general. Um, and this is one of the problems with bringing a leadership general, is that you're very, very exposed. So I really should have kept that Yari Ashigaru unit from the beginning just to protect my um, general. That really would have been far, far more helpful. This unit's just cleaned up, and now he's going to be charging back off. Um, but to be honest, I think he's going to be breaking. Yeah, he's shattered at this point, and my general is now gone. So I hope you enjoyed this battle. It was a good, tough one. It's interesting. It wasn't um, one of the kind of, oh my god, who's going to be winning? But it was definitely a pretty close match, and I managed to pull off a costly enemy victory for him. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a good battle. I'll 
put a link down below for his channel so let's go to the results screen and here we are at the results screen so you can see he actually brings six more men than me oh god broken he, he was gonna win from the he's gonna win from the beginning guys um, so the losses are I did lose 200 more men than him um, and I, I did manage to kill a thousand men so I suppose that's not too bad let's go look at the unit stats so the unit stats um, Katana's did pretty decent, Blazing Heat did very well, um, but really it kind of went down in the centre. I think if I bring some Nodachi, um, my army definitely would have fared a lot better, simply because I think I did manage to get the charge off, however, um, you know, the Banzai ability is, you know, you can't underestimate the Banzai ability because it can really stick your guys in there for a lot, lot longer. Um, so probably the Nodachi would have been a better choice. Um, Turkos, again, that was a waste of money because um, I didn't really get the full effectiveness and they were only at 50% health. Um, my Light Cab were kind of wasted as well. Well, I say kind of, pretty substantially. Um, you know, one of them to get charged, so my Cav Micro did go out the window a little bit. Um, and, I mean, look at that. Ashigaru. Oh, God. If Matchlock Ashigaru on the enemy team is in the top bloody four... Bloody, <laughs> such a British word. Um, if it's in the top four of their kind of army kill list that's pretty embarrassing I'm just gonna be honest so they both got over 100 kills so very well done to them Naginata Warrior Monk's holding out very very firmly um, against my Katana Samurai and um, there's no Dachis didn't do the best but they did manage to hold out which is a good news um, so I hope you did enjoy the battle as I said um, and I might be doing some live commentaries I'm gonna be cracking on with the cinematics um, I'll put a few, a few links down below and um, yeah hope you enjoyed and uh, bye for now